Having taken a look at various NVMe SSD based enclosures in previous videos, this is one of the first I've come across with a unique built in cooling fan the iCompu NVMe enclosure. Considering NVMe SSD drives can get very hot with heavy use, enclosures that allow you to insert your own NVMe typically come with heat sinks and an overall metal enclosure for adequate heat dissipation, although this version takes it a step further. My packaging has clearly seen better days, although inside we find the enclosure itself, which does feel very robust in the hand. As with other enclosures, there's not much to see here, and other than some branding across the top, we have a single USB-C connection port at one end, alongside a status LED. The main difference is this cooling fan integrated into the top of the device. Now we do have a full aluminum enclosure here, which provides great heat dissipation within itself, but the unit also incorporates a heatsink in the top lid, which we can see from one end of the device, and this cooling fan at the other, which should help draw some of that heat away from the business end of the unit. By that, I mean where the main connection port and most likely its internal control chip is located. Talking of the internals, this is not a tool free design, although with the removal of a single screw, we can slide the two halves in order to open, revealing the main control board inside. Here we have an RTL 9210 control chip capable of providing transmission speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second, so USB 3.1 Gen 2, as well as space to install an NVMe SSD with several sizes being catered for. Compatible with SSDs of up to 2 terabytes in capacity, we have a 1 terabyte Sabrent rocket here, and once seated into its connector, a small rubber grommet is used to secure the opposite end of the drive. Nevertheless, with the drive installed, we can reinstall the top lid. Notice the thermal cooling pad already in place, as well as the two gold power connectors for the fan, which marry up with the two spring-loaded pins on the main board in order to pass power to the fan itself. No small wires and connectors to fumble about with here. A nice overall design. The top lid does fit on rather tight when an SSD is installed though, so nice contact through to the heatsink for heat to travel to, which is a definite plus. And with that single screw securing everything together, drive installation is complete. Thankfully, a perfectly simple enough process. Using one of the two cables supplied in the package, one providing backwards compatibility with the older USB-A standard, we can connect to an available port on a computer or notebook, and remembering to initialize and format if a brand new SSD is used, we're pretty much ready to go. The drive is completely plug and play, so no drivers to set up or work through, and the performance doesn't disappoint either for a USB interface drive. Bear in mind, USB 3.2 supports data transmission speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second for steady and efficient data transfer. Although the drive is backwards compatible with USB 3.1 and USB 3 at respective speed limits, of course. This kind of speed is perfect for moving around large files or collections of smaller files at the highest possible speed on the USB interface. And as stated, depending upon the chosen file format, the unit is compatible with both Mac as well as Windows platforms. Having tested across both platforms, there were no issues whatsoever. Speed is maintained quite well, even with heavy and prolonged usage. My original thoughts and concerns with the drive was noise from the cooling fan though, but honestly it's hardly noticeable at all. In fact, I had to pick up the drive and hold it close to my ear to make sure it was even on. And at a normal working distance, even a foot or so away from the drive, it's hardly audible at all. So absolutely no concerns with any extra noise. Oh, and it goes through a funky RGB lighting sequence too, if you're into that kind of thing. So, all in all, what we have here is a solid design, a nice easy drive installation procedure with only a single screw, as well as providing solid performance thanks to its 10 gigabits per second throughput, low latency and power efficiency. Having run constant speed tests, I managed to get full speed from the drive with no slowdowns and no throttling due to heat. Whether that's down to the metal as well as the heatsink, or whether that small cooling fan is actually helping is anyone's guess, but considering it's pretty much silent in operation, there's no drawbacks to having it present. 
So no issues at all, running cool enough to avoid any throttling issues as well as compatibility across a range of hardware and software platforms, including smartphones, tablets and even games consoles, the iCompu NVMe enclosure is a budget level unit that performs perfectly well. 